I too want to thank the City Council under Corey Johnson's leadership for putting the marker down for so many people in this city. There's something that we are now learning about what is happening with our mass transit system. It doesn't treat everybody equally. For home care workers, for fast food workers, for people who are struggling to put food on the table in New York, they're the folks who are getting up at five o'clock in the morning, but the trains never come and the buses never come. They're the ones getting home at 11 o'clock at night, but subway service is down 80%. They have to travel long way to a job and to get home and take care of the kids. There has been a built in economic challenge because the subway system has become antiquated in how it recognizes all people in the city. But the biggest challenge, the challenge for so many New Yorkers, is the ability to pay. And with this proposal going forward, we are now going to be able to lift people up in this city so that they can get to school and get to the doctor and get home maybe a little quicker. The MTA has to understand that we're no longer going to pay high fares without them helping the people who are struggling in the city. They've got to reimagine the subway system. They have to reroute it. They have to add more subway service. But they also have to make sure that every time a fare rises, more people in the city gets hurt. This proposal now, fair fares, puts a marker down that it's a new day. And Corey, I want to thank you and all the council members because all I want to say today is Mayor de Blasio, let the negotiations begin. <laughs>